Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this happens to arrive in your reality of now. I am speaking to people about solar energy and taking a look at cost of energy and the net results of that. In Alaska, I was paying less for my heating bill than Dominion's charging me here in Virginia. And Dominion's the only option that you have unless you are solar. So because they can capitalize, everybody has Dominion. And as long as you live here, that is your choice unless solar. So it's kind of like a rock and a hard place. You either pay their ridiculous prices. I contacted them saying, why is this bill so high? speaking to the neighbors it's half as high as the other spaces and when I spoke to Dominion they're <laughs> asking me if I've changed the filters and I'm like my electricity bill is twice as much as the neighbors and we are not running our electronics I've got um I've got some things that pool energy and I haven't started utilizing them yet. An incredible dehydrator, a uh, things that draw energy and need their own circuit. Those haven't started to be used yet. And since December, I have had incredibly ridiculous, ridiculous energy bills. That has me taking a look at how we're going to shift and reshift for here. And that made me think about energy in general. And some places they just take the money and they offer nothing. Not um, resource. The electricity in my house shorts out often. I've had electrician over um, several actually. And it is a, I'm working on updating the house and I'm working on utilizing a more natural resource that serves in the long run, not the short run. So I'm gonna be focusing on, I once had a dreamscape, not once, many times actually. I was in the sun and there were hands everywhere and it was burning yellow and gold energy. I'm going to be focusing on the energy of the sun. It's always abundant, always present. I do perceive the sun has masculine, divine masculine energy. I also perceive earth as divine feminine energy. All right. A card, sacred geometry cards is what we're utilizing. A card to represent the sun. Okay. I had two cards fall face up. Sensitivity, second chakra. The frequency of sensitivity helps us open the world of stability and detail while anchoring in structural formation, thus supporting us to become more fully multidimensional. 35 breaks down to an eight. Second chakra. The energy of the sacral chakra helps us navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. So these faced up and then laying directly on top of them facing is <laughs> the third chakra. Oh, three of them. Interesting. It'll be nice when you guys can see the cards. That's a future setup. But solar plexus. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, physical, personal power, willpower, as well as our knowing of who and what our contribution to the whole. What your contribution to the whole? Um, that requires acknowledgement, gratitude, appreciation. Those... Um, Be present with yourself at all times. It is our responsibility to care for our inner child 
and support that inner child like the most devoted mother and father, the divine masculine and feminine energies. With that also was coherence. And the third card, honesty. So I will be focusing on the second and the third chakra and the energy of the sun. Let's see if there's anything else that pops out. And five, four, five, and eight. Okay. I'm taking off my shoes. Oh, bottom of the deck and top of the deck. Bottom of the deck is sensuality. Top of the deck. <laughs> third chakra. We're definitely focusing on the third, the second and the third chakra. Let me read what this one says. I have both of the sacred geometry cards mixed in here. Um, and in the description should be a link. There's no benefit for me with you guys ordering your own decks and cards. I just, um, I know they've helped me greatly. So I um, enjoy promoting the woman who put the work behind these cards. But solar plexus what she said on this one the energy of the solar plexus helps us to realize who we are and who we want to be so we can set course towards our goals how's that for navigation all right we'll be focusing on the energy of the sun take a deep breath in and a slow release out Recalibration to clean, healthy energy. Solutions, abundance, and flow. Niatuya tashuya te sakoya patariya sataya sashusuya and muyata sakuya tasha samaniya tiriya sataya sutukupuya tariya sasha suya tariya sadrisha supuya tariya sadri kupuya nariataya niya sataya sakushkoya taya kaya kupuya tariya sasha sakuya tariya te tushu puya tariya tariya kadamuya niya sasha suya tariya sukupa kadaya sadrisha kuriya tariya sadrisha tariya nunumaniya sadrisha sukudriya tsanaya niya suya tasha sukudriya sasha samuya taya Move that down to the second chakra. Nia suya tasha sukutria sasha supolada, yes, a tria sasha tria 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 Nia sata yasa kuka yasha sasa munia tata yasa tisha sufutarita and disperse. Um, with that, my right eye had a um, interesting um, tight tingle to it, and then I started. Um, Feeling that process quite a bit. Okay, random card for the right eye. Miracle 33. Okay, and then a random card in reference to the light language you all got to hear, see, and feel. <laughs> Intimacy 26. Eight. Eight, the power of breath. I believe the presence of divine energy to be in the oxygen, into the air that we breathe. Be blessed. Be well.